this is a column edition and you would have uh, perhaps seen column edition in the year five and six course when you had to add up columns uh, and they you just wrote the answers down the bottom. Um, this is column addition where you have to do some carrying, you have to carry some numbers over because they add up to things that are more than more than a single digit, more than nine. Okay. Uh, as with normal column addition, you column addition, you start from the right hand column. You start with the units and then do the tens, then the hundreds, then the thousands, all the way up. If you've got uh, tenths, you'd start with the tenths, and if you've got hundredths, you'd start with the hundredths. You always start with uh, the number on the right hand side. Okay, and then you just add up the numbers that are uh, in a column. You make sure that the units are lined up with the units, and the tens are lined up with the tens, and the hundreds are lined up with the hundreds. And in this case, we've got seven and six is thirteen. If the number is bigger than nine, you put in the unit, the three, and you carry the ten across. So there's the ten there. Okay, then you add uh, the next column. So you've got four plus three is seven, plus this one here is eight. So just remember to add. Oh, remember to add on anything that you've carried across. Okay, the eight goes in there again. If it was bigger than nine, if it was say fourteen, you would put the uh, the four in there, the four in there, and the one would go in in uh, in that one there. But it's not bigger than nine. This one. This one is just eight. So eight in there. Over, and then we add this column, and it's just five. So the answer is five eight three. Let's do another couple. Okay, start with this column. Five and eight is 13. That's why we need to know our basic facts and why we need to know any addition. Uh, five and eight is 13, so there's 13. Three and one and one is five. Three and one is four. Another one is five, so that becomes five. Five and seven and nothing is seven. So seven is in there. Seven is in there. One more. Nine and six is 16. 16, 9 and 5 is 14, and one more is 15, 5 in there, 1 in there, and then 2 and 1 is So you can see in that example we have to carry um, the one in uh, both uh, it, both columns across. Here's a bigger one, 9 and 7 is 16, so 6 and 1, 16. 7 and 3 is 10, and one more is 11. So we put uh, 11 in there. And then 1 and 3 is 4, and one more is 5. So that one becomes 5. And 1 and 0, 1 and nothing is 1. 1, 5, 1, 6. And that's adding, uh, adding colossal columns. Uh, it works exactly the same for decimals. You just start at the tenths or the hundredths and work away across. Only important thing you need to remember is to line them up in the right place. So if you've got decimal points, the decimal points have got to be over each other. Uh, if you've got units, the units have got to be over each other, tens over each other, hundreds over each other, etc.